Recently on a video with Woodworking with Wes, we introduced you to a new glazing product that we came in contact with from Procoat. It's called Unicoat and we have found it to be a really a superior glazing product. In fact, we are using it for anything that we glaze now. This is the only thing we're going to use. And we've had some uh, requests as to different colors because I got this sample kit that has 30 different colors of glaze. That is the one thing that I really like about this product from Procoat is the different colors of glaze that are available. Oh, by the way, I want you to stick around to the end. They've offered us a special opportunity for you if you decide to use this product. But let's get started. We had done a video a long, long time ago about diff using different woods. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to show you the different glazes. Now, what I did, I took some old golden oak wood. This is the original finish. This is the golden oak finish that we cut up. I took my wire brush and I wire brushed it just like we always do when we do ceruzing. So I wire brushed the finish. Then I painted it with my uh, Fresh Start Benjamin Moore primer. I put two coats of primer on it. Then I sealed it with poly polycrylic. And this is the finish that we're going to be glazing right here. And so we're going to first start. I'm going to show you how to paint. We're going to paint our white on this. We're going to seal it. And then we've made six samples that we're going to use different colors of glaze on. So first off, let's paint. Got a little block of wood or block here so that I can get up off of the surface here. Let me put on my glasses so I can see. Oh, look at that. Anyway, um, I've already stirred my paint and this uh, primer that we're using is a primer that I've used several times now and I really have kind of fallen in love with it as far as a primer coat. It just really does well. Um, it usually takes two coats and it did on this piece. It took two coats of primer in order to cover that golden oak real well. And then like I say, then you've got to go back and seal it because this is not a primer sealer, it's just a primer. But it's a really good primer and so that is what we'll be using. Uh, you want to make sure after you've gone through and, and used your wire brush, you want to make sure that your primer coat isn't too thick to fill in that grain. Now we did a door with this white paint and black uh, Unicoat glaze. I invite you to go back and look at that uh, video. We are not going to do the black, the white on the, the black on white again. We're going to use some other colors, but you want to make sure that you don't get your paint so thick that you fill up the grain that you just got through wire brushing out. And so there's our first coat of paint. We'll wait for that to dry. Come back, give it a second coat of paint, and then a thin coat of polycrylic for our glaze. We've gone through our sample pack. We've picked out six colors that are kind of varying shades that I think you'd like to see. And like I say, here is our sample, all painted white and sealed. And so let's get started. We're going to put it on there. We're going to spread it with a little chip brush and wipe it with a paper towel. And we're just going to go front to back. Our first one is Oak Barrel. And when you always make sure you Mix them up, shake them a little bit, and stir them. It's kind of a gray color. I'm going to set it off the side so I don't get them mixed up. If you've ever watched me, you know that I like to take a brush and, and brush my glazes into the grain. This is just such a nice, smooth glaze. I just love this glaze. There's our first color. Gives it kind of a gray look. Next 
next sample, next color. Whether uh, let's let's do this one. I like this color. This is Sedona red. Really a red glaze, kind of a cool glaze. Like I said, that's one of the things that I just really love about this glaze is all the different colors that are available. And it's just so much fun to have an opportunity to use different colors of glaze. And when you use your base coat in a different color, now I'm doing everything on white so that you can see the contrast. So don't get hung up on the fact that you can only use white because you can't. You can use any color you want to. But any color of base paint that you want to use that is complemented by the color of glaze that you would like to choose to go with it. But I just wanted you to see the different colors of glaze as I tested them. And so I'm doing them all on white. back to that weathered oak. Like I say, make sure you get it all mixed up. It has a real gray look to it also, but a lighter gray than our other one. Oop, I need a little bit more. Where'd we go? There we are, weathered oak. All right. Much lighter gray, a very soft gray in comparison to our other gray. subtle in its coloring. Yeah, very subtle. Put those two grays together, you can see the difference in the grays. Yeah, very cool. Okay. This is a great way to test your colors. Okay, this one is English chestnut. It has a real rich, rich brown color to it. When I was testing it a little earlier, I kind of liked it real well too. I like them all. That's the problem is I like them all because it's just such a beautiful glaze to work with. Make sure that you work that glaze down into that grain and uh, then when you wipe it off that, glaze, that gr uh, glaze sticks down in that grain and highlights that grain and oh yeah There you go. There's another beautiful color. All right. Our final color that we're going to do for the white paint is antique brown. Very dark brown. This glaze has kind of an oily, uh, like an oil-based glaze feel to it. And I like that because it doesn't dry too fast. 
and it allows you to work your glaze and get it around to where you want it and down into the cracks and then to clean it up with your paper towel I just like I say there's just lots of things about this glaze that I have really really enjoyed working with a little darker color on this brown here Okay, right there. Now, we have one more color to go, but we're going to do a white on black. Now, in the spirit of full disclosure, I didn't have any black primer. So what I used was a can of spray uh, just a rattle can of black paint and I tried a little sample and it worked okay to demonstrate the white glaze but it's probably not going to be as nice as this because it's not a true primer but let's give a look and just see that the black the white on black is very cool too and I would if I were to do a, a project I would make sure that I had me some good black primer to make sure that it came out correct but for demonstration purposes only we cheated so just so you know I cheated I'm fessing up So you can see the black kind of rubs off a little bit. Your primer would have worked so much better with a black primer. But you can see how a black and white look is just so cool. Just wonderful. This has almost a little bit of a crackle tone look to it because of the paint that we used. But anyway, there we go. Let's take a look at those side by side. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our little demonstration of Procoat Unicoat Glaze. It's a great product. These two colors right here, this, this uh, uh, well, I better look so I can remember, um, Oak Barrel and Weathered Oak are just such a cool kind of a gray farmhouse, modern farmhouse. If you're doing some any modern farmhouse kind of decor, these two would be great for that. I mean, that's a great color. I love those. But anyway, like I say, this is a great product. And it is the only kind of glaze that I'm going to use from now on. It's a wonderful product. They have provided us with a code so that you can link to them and get a 10% discount on the products you buy from them. And it's, like I say, a great product. Anyway, it's been fun to have you come and watch us do a little demonstration. And we look forward to seeing you again on Woodworking with Wes.